Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bed Knitter. So this week we are going to be doing another unboxing, but this time is from maybe a little unusual of places. Uh, there's this website called Wish.com, or the they have an app too. Now they have a lot of different stuff for very, very cheap. Um, and it's all sorts of different stuff, but one of the things that I found on it was yarn. So curiosity got the better of me. I wanted to take a look. Um, I still have a little bit more yarn coming on the way, but I couldn't resist. I have a couple, I have a good chunk of the yarn here with me right now, so I thought I'd do an unboxing and kind of show you what I got. Um, so, first of all, the upside, a lot of this yarn is dirt cheap. It is 60, 70, 80, 90% off. Sometimes you just have to pay shipping, so it is super, super cheap. Um, not really a catch, um, but the other flip side of it, it is coming from, um, I'm in the U.S., it's coming from China, it's not a good or a bad thing, that's just something of note. So, it did take about a month for this yarn to get to me. Um, I ordered this raw, uh, yarn in late November, and it is now late December, and I've gotten most of my yarn, but not all of it. Um, it does take a little while, so if you're looking for yarn to buy that will get to you within like a week, let's say, this is not the place to get it from. So that is a trade-off. Super cheap, but it will take a while for you. Again, just something of note that I found out. Not that I needed any of this yarn in a week, but just want to let you know. But let's take a look at what I got and kind of what quality that I found. Uh, so this first batch... Um, bag of yarn that I got. It says it spent about 15 bucks on it. Um, let's take a look at how it feels. Very, very colorful. I got one, two, three, four, five stains of yarn. Let's see if I can undo this a little bit. Ooh. So super colorful, looks like wool. Um, not the cheapest thing that I've ever, I feel like I've never, ever, ever felt. Um, kind of like a nice quality yarn. It's decent, I like it. Um, I do like the coloring of it, um, just because um, the colors are very vivid, very intense, um, which is very nice. And I got uh, five of them. Um, another kind of downside, I don't know the yardage of this. There's been no label on this. Even on the package, it doesn't say how much the yardage is. Something. So, another kind of downside to it. But, so far so good. I would definitely recommend this type of yarn. So far. Um, definitely not unhappy with what I've gotten so far. Let's take, the, take a look at this next, next package. It says... Value seven dollars. So, oh, okay. So, my again, very soft, very nice yarn, which is actually kind of a plus. Um, good coloring on it. Um, again, there's no labels on it. So, I'm noticing a theme here. Which is not the worst thing in the world, um, but in case you need to know the yardage for a special project or something like that, uh, this might not be the necessarily best way to go. Um, let me add. Because if my memory serves, <coughs> they don't say on the app how much yardage that is included in each yarn. It just gives like a little short description and kind of gives you um, the yarn. So this is package number three. Hmm. It's just like bag yarn. I've never seen yarn in a bag before. Yeah. Again, Good coloring, very nice dye job. 
Um, the colors came out quite nice. Um, so it's actually, again, like I'm actually fairly impressed on the quality of yarn because it, the, um, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel rough. Um, very smooth, very cottony. It also, I don't know if it's fully coming across, but the coloring is really nice. Very intense. Um, it doesn't look like, it, like it, they skimped out on making, like dyeing the yarn, which is nice. Um, I can appreciate like a good variation. And also, like as you've been saying, they're very colorful, um, which is nice because sometimes um, multicolor yarn is hard to get. So that's actually pretty cool. I mean, again, not unhappy with this yarn so far. Um, again, first time I've ever gotten yarn, but this is also first bag of yarn that actually had any type of like um it, the, even this doesn't have yardage on it um it just says like a care care instructions on a website but it doesn't say how much it doesn't say yardage so it's just kind of um just kind of have to guess which is not necessarily a good thing luckily um a lot of this yarn isn't for specific projects or anything, so yardage isn't <coughs> a huge deal for me. Um, in terms of this, I can kind of deal with however much yarn that they give me and I can make something of it and that's fine. Um, but again, if you're ordering something specific for a specific project, this might not be the best way to go because I'd, I can't guarantee you'll know how much yardage you're getting. Um, for each project, which is not good. But let's, uh, this is my final bag of yarn that I got. Oh man. I didn't realize everything was going to be individually wrapped like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. Nine little. Such a waste of plastic. But this is, again, um, colors are nice, rich colors. No idea how much yarn I got out of this whatsoever. But. Very soft, very colorful. Um, again, nice quality of yarn. I'm I'm really happy with the the yarn. I would have to say, I might buy from Wish again. Um, maybe not for something specific. Again, not for a specific project in mind. But if I wanted to get some extra yarn that's really cheap, um, then then I can wait like a month or two on. Uh, maybe I would I would wish um, oh I would buy from Rush again. So quick overview of what I've gone. Definitely recommend it. I take it. I would, overall I definitely recommend checking out Wish because the prices are extraordinarily cheap. Very easy on the budget. If you can wait like a month to get them, and you're okay with not having yardage on it. Definitely recommend checking it out um, because, again, the yarn is good, good coloring, good choices, very soft yarn, at least the stuff that I've gotten, um, very good quality for what I uh, got. I was expecting it to be like super cheap yarn, like y'all know what I'm talking about, like super rough, super kind of cheap, cheapish yarn, but that is not what I got. I got a better quality than I thought. So I definitely recommend go checking it out. Um, it's a definitely very interesting experiment. Um, and I would definitely recommend it to everyone else. Bye, guys. I uh, will see you next week. Happy New Year.